Yo, what's going on? Happy 4th of Mother Hump in July. <sighs> what's going on? Well, I got some new things here I just wanted to show you guys today. Just saw a video up today for the 4th. And uh, be safe out there, guys. Take it easy on the M80s, you know what I'm saying there? Don't blow your pinkies off. Uh, I had to take a video down talking about PA gun permits because uh, I think I was showing too much of my personal information. Damn, I forgot to put the lights on. The lights are on, but nobody's home. All right, there you go. And, uh, <clears throat> Uh, I just want to go over, there's a few things here I wanted to show you that I got. Uh, basic, technically, it's called a license to carry. I know you got you nitpickers out there. You know, you guys, you guys are brutal, man. It's, it's okay to call it a carry permit. It's okay, it's okay to call it a permit. It's a gun permit. And it's also a license to carry a firearm. When a cop pulls you over and he sees it, you know what he's going to ask you? He ain't gonna ask you, is is you have a license to carry a firearm? I've never heard a cop say that. They've always said when on the twice two times that it happened to me, you have a permit. You have a permit for that. So it doesn't matter what you call it. But technically it's a license to carry. Okay. Jesus Christ almighty. Gee, what's that say on the on the letterhead? New permits. Damn. Sorry. Um the application's under here. But I can't show it because I have it filled out. I'm just going to tell you about it. In Pennsylvania, you do not, I'll tell you what you don't need. It's a pretty gun friendly state. Uh, some people complain about it and I think they're out of their friggin' minds, okay? Uh, try moving, try going to New York, California, or Maryland, or uh, Illinois, and places like that and get a carry permit. Good luck, okay? Um, you do not need, you, they don't fingerprint you, which is pretty surprising. You don't have to take a firearms class or a safety class of any kind, which I think, because so many idiots that buy guns, I think they should at least give an hour class of some basic safety fundamentals. That's my opinion. I think it, it's just it's just good for the new gun owner, whatever. But they don't here. It's pretty cool, pretty cool. But at the same time, uh, I don't know if it's a good idea. Um, so you don't have to take a class for anything of any kind. You don't have to get fingerprinted at all. Uh, there's the, the waiting period is very, very short, maybe a week or two. It, it, it says um, uh, 30 days, but it's never 30 days. It's always quicker than that. You only need two references, non-related family members to say you're an okay guy. Okay. You only have to answer 10 questions on the questionnaire. Uh, if any kind of mentalness I know a lot of people ask me this in the other video, if, if you're ever on the uh, medication for depression or anything like that, they really don't take that in consideration unless you were actually in a mental institution. Then you cannot get a permit to carry. So Pennsylvania is really, really lenient, which it should. This is where the country was born. You know, uh, as far as, you know, everything was written here in Philadelphia. So it should be the most lenient, but it's not. It's not the most lenient. It's uh, Arizona's way more lenient. Vermont's way more lenient. Montana's way more lenient. Uh, I think Nevada is too. Texas, but it's not that bad. It's not that bad. Utah's pretty cool too, with their gun laws. There's a there's a lot of uh, states that have really loose, and they treat you uh, like when you adult. buy a pistol. There's no waiting period whatsoever. All you do is give your driver's license, and that is it. The guy gets on the phone, makes a phone call, about 10 minutes later, as long as you're not a convicted felon or whatever, you take the gun right there and leave with it. You can buy 10 guns if you want, you can buy one, okay? So, hold on. As you can see, I'm going to kill my friggin' dog. Man, I love my dogs to death, but sometimes I just want to smack her in the head. Uh, okay, yeah, that's that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about as far as uh, the Pennsylvania uh, gun gun permits or license to carry. Pretty easy to purchase firearms here. There's no, they don't treat you like a baby. You know what I mean? Make you wait 60 days and put you through the fucking roof for all. It's bullshit. You know what I mean? If you have a state like that, they're aiming to get rid of guns. Period. Um, 
I just got this grinder. Well, I didn't just get it. I had it for a while, but I haven't been using it. But I just want to show you guys what you can buy to help your gun hobby. And if you want to do a little, little stuff, you know, without going too far to help you out with your gun problems. This is cool, man. This is, uh, I got this at Harbor Freight. Now, Harbor Freight sells some shitty crap. But, because I'm kind of a tool guy, so I, that was my profession. I was a contractor for a long time always a mechanic of some sort of doing something so I have, I have a lot of tools and uh, I'm real fussy with a uh, tool quality but Harbor Freight a lot of their stuff is, is, is cheap shit but some of it's okay uh, this this is a really nice grinder um, it's a grinding wheel what it has is a little it has a stone over here and it has a scotch brake pad over here pretty cool looks like a three inch diameter wheel by one inch and it's cool, it's a variable speed. I think I got this there, I think it was like $30 or $40. And um, it has variable speed, it has a nine, goes from zero all the way to 10,000 RPMs, I guess. And uh, pretty cool, man. I like it. What I, what I use that for is, I have a situation right now. Mr. 45 Bullet sent me this. Because I hate this stupid thing Kimber gives you for when you're doing your takedown. you got to put this stupid pin in there and you'll lose it. It sucks. Now, actually, Kimber, you need to get these and start shipping your pistols with this tool. Problem is with this, uh, Mr. Jesus. Problem with this is whoever made this made it maybe just a little bit Turn too big. On. And use the side of the grinding wheel like this. And just take off maybe a 30 second and see if it uh, fixes it, which it probably will. All right, so that's my little project for today. And another thing I wanted to show you is I got a from Double Action, the place I shoot at. This I got the last one. They have a, a outside the waistband Kydex, not Tide. I always say Tidex because I'm an idiot. Kydex holster for the bodyguard. I just want to show you guys it. The only problem I have with it, the belt loops for my belt are too big, so I have to get a wider belt. Um, so when the belt loops are too big, it'll do. It'll move around a little bit. You want you want your belt almost the exact s size of the loop, so it holds it better. But there it is. It's a outside the waistband right-handed holster. Snaps in there real nice, and then uh, pretty hard to get in and out. But that's the way you want it, okay? Let's figure I'd show you that. I'm going to try to wear this for a while because I'm going to find, until I find a, uh, this will be all right for now, but I want to find an inside the waistband softer holster for it because uh, I don't like all this bigness. That's why I got this gun because I want to feel something slim. I don't want to even know it's there. I want it to feel like a little cell phone. I don't want it to feel like a big thing, but it's outside the waistband, so it, it'll work okay. And if you get a lot of holsters, I know this is stupid, get yourself one of these silver markers. See these, these Sharpies, and they have the silver cap. And then you can mark your mark your holsters. Of course, in here, it won't rub on anything, and you can detect what's what, because they start looking alike. You know what I'm saying? The only way I can tell it's a bodyguard, it has that little indentation for the laser. But uh, other than that, just a little tip for you. And the only thing I'm concerned about this is this laser button is rubber. It's a soft rubber. And every time you take this in and out, I'm wondering if it's rubbing that button. Because one time I don't want to have to pull it out and it pulls the button out. But I don't think it is. So I want to keep an eye on that and I'll let you know. But this is pretty cool. I like it. Like it. And I think that's it. That's all I want to cover today. Have a good 4th of July. And, uh, we're going to take a little bit off of this and uh, see if we can fix this. All right, guys, if you if you have this uh, new, it's not new, it's been out a while, this, this different uh, kind of takedown tool to replace this paperclip type of looking piece of shit here. Sometimes they make it, sometimes when you get it at the factory, sometimes they make it just a little too big and you can't get it in there. And if you have one of these, or if you have a file, whatever, but this is the way to go. You grind it down with this side, and then you take all the burrs off with the Scotch-Brite pad, and it's like it's a professional job. Here it is. 
Okay, now I, I made it a little bit smaller. This is what's great about having handy stuff like this. And, um, now it fits in there real nice. Real nice. See that? Spin it around. Like that. You don't even have to spin it around. And now what it does is it will take all the tension off the guide rod. And it, this is easier to hold on to than this is. Okay. But if you're having that problem and you can't get that in there, sometimes they make them just a little too big. Just take a little bit off and keep going back and forth until it fits in there. And it just comes right out. Alright. There you go. There's your 4th of July tip for the day. Alright guys. Have a good holiday. I'll talk to you guys soon. You know, uh, there's always videos coming. See you.